a tragedy so the democratic drift is that the profound truths may become truisms without being incorporated in legislative action, especially those truths that require to be imaginatively perceived. Should 40 million people find their white blood corpuscles called forth to fight against the deadly germs of typhus, their need will be sufficiently obvious for a politician to bring the resources of the state to their assistance. The more hurriedly in that to the perverted typhus germ, a politician makes as appetizing a meal as anybody else. But should those 40 million people be fighting a battle no less desperate against all the nameless armies of decadence and ruin that threaten the spirit, the politician can be trusted to observe nothing and therefore not be diverted from his major business in life, which is service to his own career. Lack of appreciation of this fact, or else a subconscious acquiescence in its implications on the part of the parasitical overlord, has led many a civilization to disaster, and many a nation to its grave. Quartering of peace by pacifists in frenzy of their hysteria. 